Let's take a quick look at the HTTP communication with Angular. The HTTP communication is how Angular communicate with backend services using the HTTP protocol. So let's take a look at this and see how this all happens. So you will have your client application and that client application in our case is gonna be the Angular application. So this is your client facing or client side application. So that's the application that your users see. That's the application that they interact with. And then you will have your server. So your server will be your backend web Web service or your backend web services that's where all these services are and somehow you want this backend to be able to communicate with this front end. notice that the backend can be built using any technology it can be python java node or a php or anything else now what you want to happen is you want your client application in our case our angular application we want that application to be able to communicate with this backend application to manipulate data or to create update read and delete data and that communication is going to be done over http so whenever the client application needs to manipulate data it will send something called a request over to the server and the server will take that request process it and then send a response back to the client and then you have this client server communication where the client send requests over to the server and then the server sends response back to the client and this is how the communication happens with the client server communication over http now you have to understand that this is just an overview there is way more that goes into this but for now all you have to understand is that the client application using the http protocol will send an HTTP request to manipulate data. So to create data, I will send a post. To read data, that's gonna be a get. To delete data, it's gonna be a delete. And to update, it's gonna be a put or a patch. And the server is just gonna respond with an HTTP response. And then it will send it back to the client. So I hope that makes sense. And we're gonna learn how to do all of this in this course.